Last night, severe weather hit Frisco hard, right as people were waiting for the FC Dallas game to get underway. The wind sent debris flying at Toyota Stadium. An eight-year-old girl was injured. She was checked out at a hospital. And one of the O's in the Toyota sign came off as well. A man says he was hit by part of that flying sign debris. Fox 4's Lori Brown live in Frisco with the story. Lori. Heather Colton Stevens says that his shoulder is still sore today, but he says he is thankful that the sign hit him and not some of the nearby children. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go. This video shows debris flying all over Toyota Stadium just before 8 p.m. Wednesday night. I'm actually a season ticket holder, so I go to every single home game. Colton Stevens says the game was supposed to start at 7.30, but after the anthem, it was delayed due to lightning. The National Weather Service had warned of wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour. A storm came out of nowhere, and it's that kind of rain where it's like, horizontal because the wind's blowing so hard and it kind of started to panic everyone left their seats and you know went to go up the aisle to seat cover Stevens was trying to get shelter when all of a sudden and I hear this loud thud and I get like an intense pain in my shoulder and uh, at the time I didn't think much of it. I was just like oh, oh it really hurts I was grabbing my shoulder I still wanted to get out of there get out of that line and go back to my car and check my shoulder because it was I was in a lot of pain people in the stands told me hey you know the O from Toyota flew off from 50 yards and struck you in the shoulder. I was like, that's what hit me? I almost couldn't believe it. It's very hard and uh, heavy. Steven says he hopes that the rest of the sign is checked out to make sure it's secure. A spokeswoman with FC Dallas told us, we've been in communication with Colton. His safety and well-being, along with the safety of all of our fans, is paramount. We are continuing to gather additional facts and conducting a full review of the incidents from Wednesday evening. There were three kids in front of me. And actually, if, if something like this had hit one of those children, it could have broken their bones, or if it hit them in the neck, it could have been worse. Luckily, it hit me in the shoulder, and I'm a big guy. I can, I can take it. It still hurt, but uh, it could have been worse. Some kids could have really got injured. The Frisco Fire Department does say an 8-year-old girl was also injured in the storm, but it's not clear if that was also from flying debris. She was taken to the hospital with injuries that are not life-threatening. Gina Miller with SC Dallas called me and, and basically apologized and said that stuff like that shouldn't happen and that she would uh, get a report from me and share it with the proper people that maintenance the stadium or run the stadium, I guess. No offer of any, you know, free hot dogs? Uh, absolutely not. I wish. You know, sometimes sorry goes a long way. Steven says the head coach of FC Dallas did call this afternoon and offered for him to come by and watch practice. Says sometime soon a gesture, he says, takes a bit of the sting away. Heather. It does. All right, Lori Brown, thank you.